Kids Kerma. Yep, yeah, that's that is a genuine name for a channel, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with kids in comas. So. You're gonna wish you wasn't a f***ing coma after watching this, Jesus Christ. The amount of weird stuff I've found on YouTube is getting out of hand. Hi, here's your DoorDash. Thank you. I'm taking no food from a bitch that's wearing no f***ing shoes. Why is she wearing shoes? What's she even giving her? Because that's not McDonald's. It looks like a dog shit bag. Here's your DoorDash. Thank you. Um, kind of a weird question, but do you have any chapstick I could borrow? What? Yeah, you're right. That is a weird f***ing question. So you turn up to her house wearing no shoes, you give her a dog shit bag, and then you expect her to give you some chapstick. She's going to, ain't she? But I'm speaking from the perspective of a normal person. Uh, yeah, actually I do. Hold on one second. There you go. Right, so you just conveniently happen to have chapstick of all things just right next to your front door. Like, do you get this question a lot? Why do you have chapstick there? That's like having f***ing shampoo there. It just doesn't belong there, does it? Right, so did she just rub chapstick on her pussy? That's not a thing, is it? Do women actually do that? She just gave it back to her as well, like she just didn't rub it on her pussy, like, yeah, nice one, appreciate it. If she did that to me, I'd be like, yeah, to be fair, my lips are a bit dry. <laughs> the fact that they've got kids as a part of the YouTube name is f***ing crazy, innit? It's just women rubbing chapstick on the pussy. Lamborghini. Yeah, it's just easier to agree at this point, innit? If she thinks that's a Lamborghini, let her f***ing think that, I can't be asked. All right, f***ing hell, do you want to calm down? We can see what it is. You don't have to f***ing stand all over it with your shitty little slippers, do you? Lamborghini. She's on the fucking roof now. Yeah, love, just start bouncing on it like it's not worth about 200 grand. I don't understand if it was like a Vauxhall Corsa or a Ford Mondeo. Does this bitch have an OnlyFans? Yep, of course she fucking does. Coco style. At least you've used that name instead of Kids Coma. That'd have been fucking horrendous. It sounds like a paedophile ring. Oh, fucking you what? Have you seen Kids Coma's new uh, upload on OnlyFans? Oh, we got a code blue, code blue. Come on, I'm not gonna lose you. Come on. Oh, not again. So she's trying to fuck him back to life. What's happening? Since when was necrophilia acceptable on YouTube? I get videos demonetized for talking about Jack Daugherty. So that's telling me that YouTube think Jack Daugherty is worse than a person that fucks dead people. Fucking hell, that's brilliant. Doc, I did it! So what's a, what's a code blue? And what do I have to do to get myself in one? Code blue! No, in my fucking look, I won't get a woman. I'd get like a big African man, Dr. Owamba or some shit. That'd wake me up, wouldn't it? I'd probably want to die again when I found out how he woke me up. Imagine if a man was making this video instead of a woman. So a man fucking a woman to bring her back to life. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? But something about this just doesn't, doesn't strike me as weird. I'm more jealous, actually. Hey, do you want to come play with me? Oh, I'd love to. Hey. Oh. I mean the game. Oh. Play the game. <laughs> just straight up slapped her ass. Oh. Do you want to come and play with me? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Not once have I thought when someone said that to me, they want me to slap their ass. Hello? Hi, ma'am. Would you be interested in some Girl Scout cookies today? You know what? I don't have time for this. I have a call. Take these. They're worth about 300 bucks. Sell them on eBay. I really don't care. Bye. I don't know, there's something about a fully grown woman taking off their underwear and throwing it at a little girl that just doesn't sit right with me. Take these, they're worth about 300 bucks, sell them on eBay, I really don't care. I was just gonna say no one will buy that, but some sad bastard will, trust me. An American, most likely. Imagine if I did that to a little boy scout, no. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't, because I live in the UK and we don't do shit like this. You think you're gonna get a British child knocking on doors, selling cookies? <laughs> no chance. You've got more chance of them selling your weed. So this girl scout, right, was sent out to sell some cookies, okay? So then she comes back and the counsellor or some shit's like. So how much did you make? Uh, just a couple of dollars in them. These. What the fuck are them? Sorry for my language, girls, but what the fuck are them? Are you talking about this? This is a pair of used underwear that's apparently worth about $300. So I say, take some pictures of them, put it up on eBay for about $400, but then put open to any offers, walk away with $350. Or keep them. It's up to you. <laughs> this is what it's like having a $300,000 trampoline. Just wait. Oh, look, it's a Lamborghini. Imagine buying a car just to fucking jump on it. Wait until you see the comments. Fuck me. Her humility adds a touch of magic to her already enchanting beauty. I mean, what the fuck does that mean? She's jumping on a fucking Ferrari, which she thinks is a Lamborghini trampoline. So bouncy. 
So you can see I'm struggling to understand where the fuck you're coming from. <laughs> she's the most humble, heartwarming person to ever exist. I mean, this person's just not real. That statement's just false. It's just wrong. Heartwarming. She took off her pants and threw them at a child. She used fucking chapstick on her pussy and gave it back to her. You fuck, you get the message. She's fucking weird. She fucks someone that was unconscious. Oh, you fucking know, don't you? With every humble gesture, she reaffirms her inner and outer beauty. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck are you on about? It's like a cull, innit? This comment section's fucking brainwashed. Babe. What? Walking around brick to see a reaction. What the fuck am I about to watch? Babe. What? Look. Oh my god, babe. Why? You. It's you. I can't help it. Really? Yeah. What, so you just have uncontrollable erections every time you're near her? I find it funny how she's like, oh my god, babe, thank you. That's so cute. Like, do you not think it's a slight bit weird? Like, every time you're with him, you just know he's got a fucking boner. <laughs> you could be at a funeral for the death of your child, and he'll be standing there next to you with a massive fucking rod on, because you just can't help it. You know what? Forget shopping. What do you mean? Let's go to the car. Really? Yes, come on. I mean, I would not expect her to react any other way, to be honest. <sighs> Get to the car, I'll sort it. 1.5 million subscribers too. Like, I don't get it. From all the shit we just watched, not one thing justified why they've got 1.5 million subscribers. She rubbed chapstick on a pussy for fuck's sake. That's probably why, actually, innit? Hi. Uh, delivery for Coco? Yep, yeah, that's me. Meat lovers? Oh, uh, yeah. Just sure. open it and make sure it's it. Okay. Oh, my God, that's perfect. I know. It's extra a, meat. <laughs> extra sausage, too. Oh, yes. Wait, so he's put his dick inside the pizza box. Is that what's happening here? Was the pizza box really necessary? Probably not. She'd suck your dick regardless, with or without the pizza box. <laughs> Jesus Christ, kids coma, everybody. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, click this playlist here. It's all the other videos of the weird shit I've watched. If you enjoyed this, go and check it out. And I'm off to go and figure out how to get myself into one of them blue alert situations. <laughs>